founder of Elastos, Rong Chen, Jeremy and Nicola, not Gandhi. <laughs> um, so we're just having an informal discussion around Rong, what um, the history has been of Elastos, where you believe it's going to go, and just getting to know him. So Jeremy, did you want to Yeah, start? sure. So I mean, this is an exciting week and um, I'm just curious what, what you're most excited about. What's your what's your favorite part? What are you excited to see roll out this week? Well, what I uh, <laughs> I'm excited about is uh, actually the Cyber Republic. Yeah. Because uh, when I started this uh, project Elastos 18 years ago, um, I realized actually uh, doing an operating system, the mother tongue has to be in English. But unfortunately, at that time, I have to go back to China because uh, that's where I can get funding and also that's where I can get the team. Unfortunately, the team is not really fluent in English, right? They can read English documentations, but they can hardly write or speak. So then, oh, um, you know, it's a, that's a hard uh, decision to make. Um, yeah, I'm uh, very happy. And also, uh, for a operating system or a uh, new internet, the real issue is um, it's actually way beyond one person and uh, one team. So uh, that's also another reason I'm excited to see um, such a, such a uh, enthusiastic uh, community as uh, gathering here, uh, which is really a, a very critical step towards uh, the so-called uh, separate public or the new internet. Yeah, it's a great group yeah. here. It is. A great group. Do you yeah, feel like the you. values of Cyber Republic have been based on your own learnings and your own values growing up and building Elastos over the past 18 years? Actually, it's a total surprise Okay. <laughs> behind uh, my imaginations because uh, actually when I started, uh, there's only one thing in mind, uh, which is uh, creating virtual machines and having the uh, network traffic uh, being generated by the virtual machines in a way uh, Virtual Machines is the only source and uh, uh, destination for all network packets, right? And, um, but somehow that, uh, that vision st stuck in my mind for the past 18 years. But the hard part is uh, uh, in order to do the Virtual Machines, it has to be open source and the new internet has to be open source Then where's the funding? And, uh, who are the people contributing, right? Building this thing. So uh, it took me 17 years, basically. Um, the blessing was uh, we didn't die. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, up and downs and a lot of troubles and uh, happiness and uh, problems, right? And uh, 2017, Han Phone came to me and saying, we're gonna set up this uh, Elasus Foundation. We're going to do a, a token sale. Actually, we did two token sales, a private token sale and public token sales, which uh, both were very successful. So we have uh, we had enough fundings, and uh, it's because of this crypto thing, right? Because uh, it's a self-generating, the mining, and uh, incentives to the developers, to the miners, to the community um, was way beyond uh, my imaginations, right? Uh, uh, I'm really, really happy uh, uh, this thing come along and uh, together actually the, uh, the blockchain and the Elastos uh, merge together. I think that's where the hopes, it, that's where the hope is. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this week we uh, all get together from mm -hmm. all over the world. So my question to you would be, uh, you're the one that uh, probably has seen most of the people here. Most people don't really know each other. And mm -hmm. We only talk to each other online. So for you, how is it to meet everyone at one place? 
for us it's really really inspiring and we come up with new ideas and how to work along in the future but how this is for you well uh, of course i'm very happy to see everyone because uh <laughs> actually i'm just another <laughs> guy right and uh i don't really ever expected uh so many people work uh, behind the, some ideas that I started, which is really, really encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, I never believe I'm Gandhi. <laughs> 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 but uh, somehow people are gathering. I really uh, uh, appreciate uh, that's one thing. On the other hand, uh, I'm also really deeply hum humbled, right? And also because of my, uh, I know what I've been through. Mm -hmm. And I also, uh, last night we talked about um, some of my life experiences in early ages of my life, like a cultural revolution. I realized in, when you are inside a revolution, actually nobody is uh, somebody, right? Because right? I've seen really, really uh, well-known uh, figures being publicly uh, humiliated. Mm -hmm. You don't see a halo on his head. For example, I see Dalai Lama, no, Banchan Lama, right, being a, a, a second kind of person in, in spiritual leader in a big region, right? And uh, by that time, I saw uh, Banchan Lama, did he have a halo on his head, right? Did, what happened to him at that time? I was only 10 years old, and I learned Banchan just because that event, I didn't know who Benton was. And, uh, and I also see, of course, many, many events, not at that scale, but like ministers in public humiliation of China, right? And uh, professors, well-known, world, worldwide well-known professors, right? Who are they? But that in, during a revolution, they're nobody. And uh, so until today, actually, because I've been through those years, and uh, I, I don't ever believe I'm anybody. So, and uh, that said, given uh, my uh, te technical career uh, has been, I haven't programmed for 10 years. Uh, I wish, right, I stayed and keep up my, with my programming. Maybe in my spare time, um, I will go to the senior college and learn Elastos programming. Maybe that's <laughs> one of uh, on my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would join you. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you left the entire team behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how to do that. <laughs> so that's another thing, because uh, I'm really happy there's uh, this young generation, they know much better than me, right? And uh, uh, I'm just happy, appreciate it. Uh, I'm not really a, a leader anymore because I couldn't <laughs> lead them to program. Yeah, that's uh, great. So yeah. I want to know, Rong, I mean, when you're not building the new internet, mm -hmm. what, what do you do for fun? What uh, do you well, like to do? I'm looking forward to that because for the past 18 years, I didn't have much fun. So what are you looking forward to? <laughs> what, are, what are you looking forward to? <laughs> <laughs> At least... Uh, have some time with my family, yeah, you know, sure. have some time to travel because uh, I hardly have any vacations. Yeah. Because where, when I was uh, working for Microsoft in the United States, every year we take, you know, a, a once or twice vacations. But uh, for the past uh, 18 years, total, I took maybe five. Mm -hmm. Like because my kids were growing up, my wife has to force me, had to force me to for a week, you know, with the family. But then my mind so has been always with the project. So I finally feel um, maybe I deserve a, a vacation somewhere. When do you think that vacation will happen? Well, maybe this Christmas. That's exciting. Hopefully, yeah. Because uh, actually, we're remodeling our uh, uh, house in Seattle, mm -hmm. and. Uh, mm -hmm. Our family is very much looking forward to the Thanksgiving of, uh, yeah, in November this year. Yeah. Because of, uh, that's the uh, family my kids um, thought that's their uh, uh, attached to, that's their roots in Seattle. And, uh, but then they uh, moved with me to Shanghai when my older son is like uh, 10 years old, my younger son is only seven. And they moved to Shanghai for about um, 
six, seven years, and they graduated from high school, went back to the U.S. So kind of uh, this Christmas, this uh, Thanksgiving, we finally made a circle and uh, can call it uh, an end to the family. That's lovely. Yeah, it is. Really we are, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Given that you have spent time in America a lot and also in China where you grew up, uh -huh. where do you feel home? Well, personally, I feel uh, uh, home in China because of uh, I still more feel more confident with my Chinese <laughs> than English. But uh, America is uh, my kid's home. And because uh, for us, uh, as I said, uh, my wife and me, I really enjoy kids when they grow up. And uh, I missed a big part of uh, their growing up. So uh, we we'll want to be close to the families. Yeah, so I'll be travel, traveling. Yeah. Uncle Ron, I have one question for you. <laughs> Can you please address the rumors that you are in fact Satoshi Nakamoto? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there's, no, there's no truth <laughs> whatsoever. That's what Satoshi would say. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know blockchain. I didn't know, I know some basic ideas. I don't know even how to program blockchain. <laughs> I don't know. You've definitely, you've inspired, um, you know, a younger generation. And uh -huh. I know that people are very excited. The, the Elastos community is very excited, you know, and mm -hmm. there's, there's more than just um, people thinking they're going to get a return on investment. You've, you could see the hope and you can feel the hope. Um, that's contagious, you know. So I guess what would you, what would you say to your community? What would you say to the Elastos community? Well, one thing I can say is that uh, in my lifetime, I was uh, kind of lucky enough uh, to run into, coincidentally, several incidents. Um, when I graduated from college, um, I want to go study abroad in the United States. So I ended up, uh, uh, I got a scholarship in the lab uh, doing Chinese input output cards. But I don't want to do it. I want to learn English. I want to go out. I was just lucky enough to get the, uh, the scholarship, right? So when I left, three months later, when I left uh, the lab, the lab uh, founded a company called uh, Lenovo. I wish I knew, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I would be some founder, maybe, you know, at least first employee <laughs> of uh, the company. But I was not. Then later on at Illinois, University of Illinois, uh, because of my visa, I couldn't work, work, work off campus. So I have to find a job on campus to support uh, um, my family. Uh, so I find a job at uh, National Center for Supercomputing Applications, NCSA, at the very early uh, stage, like uh, when they started. I was one of the first uh, few uh, grad programmers there. Uh, of course, uh, we, uh, uh, they set up uh, uh, five supercomputer centers in the United States and hooked up by satellites. And we're trying to write the TCP IP code and try to write the visualization code from super, uh, create supercomputer to workstations to PCs so everybody can hook up to that network of scientific computing. And uh, several years later, uh, step by step, uh, when I, of course, I have long gone. Uh, a, that lab uh, made uh, the first browser uh, called uh, Mosaic. And also that supercomputer, the browsing model that we started, it's kind of uh, like HTTP and uh, the web. Uh, but I didn't do much. I was just uh, uh, did some very primitive programming at the beginning. What I'm saying is that uh, while I was there, the lab was so normal, nothing uh, spectacular. For example, the Lenovo lab, it was a peripheral lab. No one want, wanted to be in the peripheral lab. Everyone wants to be in the uh, uh, supercomputer architect lab, right? building the supercomputers or building the, uh, the chief engineer for the compilers for the operating systems. You know who wants to do the, uh, the peripherals, right? And uh, five folks, started this uh, Lenovo thing and turned out one of the 
uh, lab, uh, the lab uh, uh, personnel turned into the godfather of Chinese IT industry, mm -hmm. right? At that time, I didn't even bother to know him inside out mm -hmm. because everyone just so normal. And uh, also, at, uh, as I said, at Illinois, where the browser was invented, do you think, you know, people would think they're super smart or uh, they have, you know, what uh, talented folks, which is really not true because of uh, National Center for Supercomputing Applications. Who are doing National Center for Supercomputing Applications? The economists, the uh, astronomers, the physicists, right? They're smart, but do they know computers? Not much, right? But then that's the team later on, they invented the browser. I mean, people, a lot of people thought it, it'll be some really, really genius this together, which is really not true. So it uh, just happened to be there at the right moment, right time, you were there. But what I'm saying is that then later on I was, uh, uh, I went to Microsoft to research and then moved down to Microsoft Internet Explorer team as both as a, a very early team members. During those uh, web era, it's kind of like another revolution of uh, the technology. Everybody actually is small, but together you see what impacted us, the web, the browser. Uh, what I'm saying is, given the blockchain, we can finally make this decentralized internet with trust because the internet is decentralized Yet uh, there's viruses, uh, uh, network attacks, no one trusts each other on the internet. There's a famous saying there, you don't know the other part is a dog, mm -hmm. right? Every dog has a web page mm -hmm. in 1995. That's the saying. Uh, but today, can we have a web that, uh, you know, uh, uh, not only it's a secure, safe, and also we can peer-to-peer -peer trade uh, digital assets, setting up a new, uh, so-called a capitalist private ownership economy, the, vir the, the virtual one. That's what really uh, inspired me. But uh, on the other hand, I, uh, I kind of stay behind of uh, programming wise. So uh, I would like to see uh, the younger generation not really believe in like um, super human leading them Actually, nobody is human, uh, superhuman. Actually, it's themselves. As, as I said, at that time, Lenovo was just a bunch of not such if not not famous at all, right? And the uh, the University of Illinois, those application center, they are really amateurs doing applications. They're not really hardcore. But then they made the internet. They made, they made the web. So what I'm saying is, really, people should the cyber republic count on themselves, right? Instead of counting on some spiritual leader or anybody to lead them, there's no way. Excellent. So you have Lenovo, Mosaic, and Microsoft. I was uh, before Lenovo, before Mosaic. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I didn't do any what part in Lenovo. What turned into Lenovo, Lenovo and it, what turned into Mosaic? Correct. I was a very early team member in both teams, but they were not called Lenovo yet. They were not called the Mosaic yet. <laughs> I was there. So basically, all I've learned, I didn't do any work to the uh, both famous projects. I was there only the observation mm. I made was everybody was normal. Right. Right, the normal folks create history. It's not the superstar who makes this history. I like that saying: "The normal mm. folks create history." Yeah, that's a really powerful statement. Yeah, really powerful. Wow, thank you for sharing yes, that. Yes, thank you, Ron. Thank you. Congratulations um, on one year of Elastos. And before we tie up, mm. where would you like to see Elastos in five years from now? Well, I'm really happy to see. I, I would be really excited. Uh, 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 to see uh, Elastos turned into another web. We call it uh, smart web. The old web is the web of information. Mm -hmm. On the social networks, we share data, we share photos, we share messages, we share uh, website links. They're all data. 
Then there are only two things on a computer: data and code. And、uh, why it's called a smart web? It's a web that runs apps, right? The apps actually. When you talk about value internet, when you talk about transferring value peer to peer, actually,、uh, how many people realize, in order to transfer value, digital assets, you have to transfer code. It's not the other way around. Transfer code, of course, you run into various problems. You run into、uh, other issues like uh, uh, validation issues. But then I see.、Uh, In my mind, very clearly,、uh, all the tumbling blocks、uh, should be、uh, solvable at this point. So,、uh, in five years, I definitely see it's happening. So that, if you consider the last web, only sharing information changed our lives so much. Transferring code, transferring value, creating. A private ownership of digital assets—that's going to transform the societies even more.、Yeah. As for how big, I don't know. It's like 95. Do you? Do anybody see Google of today?、Yeah. But、uh, in five years, do you see next someone?、Uh, I don't know, but it definitely it will be bigger. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, that's what I see.、Uh, it's coming. That's really exciting. And what do you think Elastos needs? The great thing about Elastos is it's not just like a company where you hire people. People, anyone can be part of it. Anyone can contribute.、Anyone. Right. So, what does Elastos need today to get to that vision? Is there anything that they need? People have to understand.、Uh, there's a, you know, Chinese always say yin and yang, right? It's a. Sometimes when I was young, it's kind of like a joke. But、uh, when I'm getting older, then you know, older people doesn't know how to do work anymore. Then they talk about philosophy, right? And、uh, basically, when you see products, when you see products, whether it's a router, it's a smartphone, or it's a software uh, uh, app, they're all products. Products meaning you have replacements, you have competition. Right, you have a phone, Samsung phone. Then there's an iPhone. Then there's a Huawei phone. They're competing. So the, everything that competes is called a product, or it's called a service. It's a replaceable. So when it's replaceable, you have to keep it、uh, like secretive. I know something you don't. So I can do it better than you are. We're more efficient than work harder than you are. You know that kind of thing. So competition in Chinese is called.、Um, Uh, young, it's a it's a male thing. You know, male, you fight to your death. But then, when you do a、uh, internet, when you do a operating system, you incubate, right? Because、uh, different products grow out of this、uh, nurturing ground. So that's in Chinese. That's a feminine. You know, it's a、uh, it's called a yin in Chinese.、Uh, but then. That's why it has to be open source, to open to everyone. You know, like an open source, neutral, and another thing is autonomous running. Because if it's not autonomous running, if it's not self uh, 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 automatically running, then it's run by someone. You know, by like an operator running by AT and T or China Mobile. So you wanted the platform to be running, yet、uh, no one is running. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what really the blockchain brings us, right? Giving an illusion. The miners collectively together, then they have this whole thing running together. So that's the technical、uh, part of it. Make it neutral, trustworthy, and autonomous running.、Uh, the another piece is when you have open source, neutral, autonomous running, and who is、uh, supporting it? Because when you are a product, you make profit. But when you're a、uh, cyber republic, when you're kind of like a government, you collect tax. But if it's an internet cross nations, whose tax you're going to collect? So those issues are really,、um, you know, ambivalent or they're orthodox.、Um, there's no solution it, until okay, we mine the tokens and then we、uh, we have a little bit of inflations and.、Uh, 
that's really beyond me. It's a, surprisingly, it's just coming along, yeah. right? And uh, this is the piece people have to realize because a lot of people want to kind of say, I want to take part. I want to grasp the concept of blockchain. Yeah. Or people are saying, we need a, uh, uh, let's say, a platform, a new operating system, right? And uh, so many people talk about it, but they don't really understand, the f realize there's a philosophical difference. Use operating systems, Linux, for example, you can build a router, but then you use that Linux to build a router. You use Linux to build a phone. You're using Linux to build a product. Or are you going to use Linux to build a platform of the web? Even though it's the same Linux, but actually they play different roles. Yin and yang, when you make a product, it's, uh, the, they're competing. When you make a platform, they're nurturing. I think that's the hard part. It's not that somebody, you, they know the code inside out. Yeah. You have to kind of change your mind in a way. I think that's the hard part for the uh, uh, technology geeks because they're single-minded, yeah. right? And just think, they always believe it's truth or fourth. It's just one thing. And uh, that's <coughs> what uh, uh, I think made people kind of blind or, or, or blindfolded there. Yeah, I can totally yeah. relate to that. We have so many people in the community that mm -hmm. ask us, how is the losses going to make any profit? Mm -hmm. but actually, the fact that the losses doesn't need to make profit and doesn't want to make profit is something that uh, attracts a lot of people as well. Not only confuses people, but you, you can gather very many people to the cyber republic mm -hmm. just because of this fact that losses is not going to make any profit. Right, Elas itself uh, is not on, it's not a, a company anymore, right? Because it's a, first of all, it's a community and it's organized by uh, the community leaders uh, called a Cyber Republic. And uh, I see two things happening. One is, of course, uh, we have the uh, like 16 million uh, ELA tokens, which uh, will be handi handing off to the Cyber Republic community leaders. Uh, that's a lot of tokens. Uh, secondly, there's uh, so-called uh, inflations. Uh, like total GDP, uh, we're going to mine about 4% uh, inflation. So there's a 1.2% of the uh, tokens mined every year will go to the Cyber Republic. We'll support uh, people who contributed. We'll set up bounty programs, whether you set up, uh, you helped with the meetup or helped with writing some projects for the infrastructures. We're going to have some uh, community rules and uh, community rewards. Secondly, we do uh, affiliate or help a lot of uh, uh, partnering uh, startups, uh, little startups and uh, partnering with us who is going to contribute uh, to the separate public ideas. For example, uh, people who make smart speakers. And since we don't have a company, uh, who is fixing the bugs? Who is going to deploy those hardware? Who is going to sign up the, uh, the liability contracts? Because after all, uh, somebody has to be responsible for uh, hardware products. What if it... it, it got uh, flaws or what if it's uh, run into some uh, 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 accidents, right? Somebody has to be liable. So those are companies doing the business, uh, promoting uh, Elasos on the other hand, making a profit for their services. That said, see, if you look at a bigger picture of a smart economy, the people who is providing the hard drives for the uh, uh, IPFS, for example, they uh, should be getting rewarded, which is a natural thing to say. And uh, for the folks who is providing the bandwidth, relaying audios for those uh, homemade uh, net stars, you know, they want to do a show at home, but yet they want to reach millions of customers, audiences, they need bandwidth. Uh, who is providing them with bandwidth? Right, and uh, we see a lot of decentralized apps uh, spreading on this new internet. 
uh, they actually the the network stars and uh, uh, that we call them uh, like uh, uh, crypto uh, the digital assets shared peer to peer. Of course, uh, the people expect to have uh, some money made, and then the proceeds will go. Of course, divided by smart contracts, but some proceeds will go to the hardware drive, hard drive providers. Will go to the bandwidth providers, right? And uh, so this is a big economic circle. The uh, the ones who is doing the business really they're consumers of the internet. They're not. Uh, Hardware geeks or or software geeks, and uh, they the hardware folks or or hardware uh, software folks they expect to get rewarded, not only as I said those companies providing the services they get rewarded by, um, let's say the marketing decentralized marketing engine decentralized exchange the decentralized uh, uh, searching engines those proceeds. Uh, of course, Elastos as a platform will have those services, and yet Elastos doesn't have a hard drive to stay anyone to put anybody's personal data, and Elastos doesn't have a wallet to receive anybody's uh, uh, money. So those money will go to some uh, uh, wallet, which is transparently. Uh, scrutinized by the community, and also the money proceeds will dispatch, dispense to those who deserve, right, mm -hmm. by smart contracts. So the smart uh, cyber republic is really not only a community organization, also it's a it's a way of governing. For example, the council members who's voted in, who's voted out. And uh, are they going to transfer private keys? They're not. They're all private, uh, programmed in by smart contracts, by the platform. So that's what I'm saying. For we expect to have decentralized search, en uh, search engines, but we're not Google. So the money, of course, paid by the advertisers, paid by the merchants who want their products well known to the audience. So they pay. By some transparent rules, right? Open source searching engines, and the proceeds will automatically go to the hardware providers, the bandwidth providers, and we hope on this platform we have a fair and justified way of of paying everyone. And uh, it's not like nobody is making money. We we expect the partners make money. Right. It's just this is a new way of doing things. Yep, it's a brand new world. I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, on behalf of the community, Rong, we just we really appreciate you. We really appreciate you, and uh, thank you for your vision and um, for pioneering this this new internet. And uh, mm -hmm. we're we're glad that you're beginning on this one year anniversary. You're beginning to see the fruit, beginning to see it come to fruition, and uh, we're excited for the next year and five years to see what happens. So thank you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you yes. so much, Rong.